Hi, TechnoTar13 here. Uh, just to make a video on a problem that's been plaguing me for a while now. Uh, at my office where I work, I've been using uh, an HP Pro 3130 desktop, as seen here. And uh, recently I needed a printer to do documents or anything else in black, white, or grayscale. And uh, so I went to my ACK and uh, tried to look for a simple printer, and I happened to find an HP LaserJet, LaserJet sorry, 1012. And it's good for black and white uh, documents and like labels and checks and stuff. So I hooked up to my computer, <coughs> sorry, and uh, I went to uh, use Windows up there to install the drivers, but unfortunately uh, it's not supported by uh, Windows 7. Uh, but luckily, I found a way to trick the computer into creating a driver for it, plus some other troubleshoots that I've had to overcome as well. So I'll be making all this in uh, this video starting with the installation. First and foremost, make sure you have your printer connected to your computer via USB to printer uh, port cable and make sure it's plugged into your uh, wall outlet. Alright, after that's set up, next you go to Start. Devices and Printers, and click on Add New Printer, or Add Up Printer, sorry. And after that, click on Add Local Printer, go to Use Existing Port, and on the drop down menu, go to dot four underscore zero zero one. And I'll zoom in there. Dot four zero zero one. After that, click Next. Now, if your computer hasn't done this already, click on the Windows Update button and just let it refresh uh, to get the latest uh, drivers. After it is updated, click on, on the left-hand column, click on HP, not Hewlett Packard, the one underneath there. And in the right-hand column, Go to, scroll down until you can find HP LaserChat 355 PCLS Microsoft. Click on that. Next. And I'll zoom out here. It might ask you what version do you want to use. Just say replace, replace the current driver, sorry. And you can, if you want to change the name if you want to, I really don't care. So next. And now it'll install the driver. Next, it will ask uh, for printer sharing if you want to share it with uh, another person or in network, but I, re I really don't want to, so. And now it says you've successfully added it. And uh, first off, you should probably make a print, a print, a print page uh, just to make sure that it works. And as you can hear, it's starting to work. And uh, as you can see, print test page, and it works. Now this is the complicated part where you have to go into Windows Explorer, and you have to type in this certain coordinate, which I'll list on the bottom of the screen. Uh, they have to go into Windows Explorer, type th that into the address bar, and you have to delete all the files that are in there. Now I'm just using the same window that I used to add the printer. So all you do is just go to the address bar up here and type in that coordinate. And I already typed it in already so I'm just going to click on it. So this just happens to be my computer but if on your screen you happen to find any files in this window, delete them immediately and then restart your computer. After deleting those files and uh, rebooting your computer, your printer should run smoothly from here on out. Hopefully I've solved any uh, questions pertaining to this printer. And if you do have a question, feel free to leave it as a comment in this video. Thank you.